Hello everyone, welcome to Jazz Notes. My name is Tim Brown, your host. I know it's been a while since I had my last episode, so I'm going to get back into this right away. The next album I want to focus on for this episode of Jazz Notes is an album by Andrew Hill. Andrew Hill was a jazz pianist and composer. He was born June 30th, 1931 in Chicago, Illinois. Now there are earlier sources, like the album that I'm featuring today, that indicated that he was born in Haiti. But apparently it was discovered later on that this was not the case. Earlier in his career, he performed with, as a sideman for bebop artists like Charlie Parker, but he's best known as a solo artist for the Blue Note record label. One of the albums that he recorded for Blue Note is titled Compulsion, which is the focus of this episode. Compulsion is the first track on the album. In the liner notes, which are written by Nat Hentoff, Hill writes that he had a compulsion to construct an album expressing the legacy of the Negro tradition. For one thing, you'll notice I try to use the piano in this set as a percussive rather than a lyrical instrument. And that, of course, is not uncommon. Uh, the jazz term that is used for playing chords or comping is oftentimes used with a highly rhythmic effect and that's really common to especially hard bop pianists. Hill points out also that Negro artists are also beginning to identify features of their own heritage and some aspects of the music begin to actually heighten their own individuality as opposed to the critics at the time who felt that all the music of this genre was pretty much the same. Now let's focus on the album cover for a moment. The album cover was designed as usual by Reed Miles for Blue Note and you can see the face of Andrew Hill is broken down into fragments and the fragments kind of vibrate across the cover of the album cover they kind of mirror a very pulsating and polyrhythmic sound that's reminiscent of the type of sounds that you were hear in the album. Also on the album cover you will find the musicians who are featured on this album. Freddie Hubbard is on trumpet and flugelhorn, John Gilmore is on tenor sax and bass clarinet, Cecil McBee and Richard Davis are on bass, and Joe Chambers is on, on drums. Also too, we've, the album features Nettie Kumar, who is on African drums and thumb piano, and Renaud Simmons, who is on conga. Hill would later on in life go on to get his doctorate from Colgate University. He worked for Portland University for a number of years and attended residencies at several universities, among them Michigan and Harvard. I love all of Andrew Hill's Blue Note albums and I would encourage you to listen some of the, to some of his other recordings. He also had some great solo albums that came out in the late 60s and early 70s. Uh, one title, Nefertiti, uh, but a host of other ones. Uh, maybe you want to check some of the more recent reissues that are available on iTunes, other sources like that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Jazz Notes. I look forward to seeing you next time.